I don't know exactly how that's done, but you know, I'm sure it's uh, something in the software, something in the firmware, something in the in the squishy wear. That's probably it, the squishy wear. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Actually, <laughs> the pinkness is a post-it note. That's what the pinkness is. Hold on. Okay, there you go. There you go. Got a little sunlight coming in through the through the window over there. There it is. Yeah. And there's this even sunlight shining on the micro. Oh, yeah, I'm blind now. So in an effort to remain casual, that's what we're doing. I'm actually looking kind of dapper, though. I don't know. Already notes coming in from the other room. Oh, come on. Karen. Karen Hilton? Is that Karen Hilton? No. The castle's in the air. Goodness gracious. Now, I want you to notice the crawl. The first one is the, uh, is the GoFundMe page for our friends at the CNP Coffee Company in West Seattle. That's where you can put there. And there's also one of their uh, notifications. I think it's... No? No? <laughs> you can do this, Bill. I think it's up here. Up in this corner up here, underneath where it says Treehouse Concert Number 5, if you're on the close-up screen. No, that's good. Where's my coffee? See, I've got multiple cups. If I were doing the show at the CNP Coffee Company, I would be starting with a white chocolate mocha. Probably Ian would make it for me, but if Ian's not there, it would be Pete. The famous Pete of Cam and Pete, CNP. Mm. Ah, there you go. Okay, so you know where that stuff is, and there's hyperlink. Yeah. Hyperlinks are up here. There's hyperlinks. You one click gets you there. Doesn't work on the crawl that way. Casual. Casual. Diane and I were just talking downstairs moments ago about how I need to keep it casual. The reason being that there's, with the technical glitches that we've been having, you know, Facebook has been giving me a hard time. We're going to talk about that. But I don't want to say it too loud. You know, I posted this earlier today. When the first three of these, uh, the first four of the the uh, Treehouse concerts that I've done, I've, I've invited like 600 people, over 600 people. This last one, when I was doing my Facebook event, which you do, because that's what you do, they only allowed me 50 people. And then they said, sorry, you can't invite any more, but welcome to, you know, uh, buy an ad or, you know, something like that. So that was a little frustrating. So if it seems like there's fewer people here, here tonight, it's because I wasn't able to as an, invite as many people. And if by chance you are here but did not receive an invite, let's figure out another way to be in touch. Message me via Facebook book Messenger. Not during the show tonight because it, those comments tend to get a little... Yeah, Facebook makes you look at them as most relevant. You can look at them in two or three different ways. And I feel like every week I'm missing some, you know, because Diane will bring me some. And here's something from the comments. And I was like, I never saw this comment. So if you can message me by, via Facebook Messenger or my email address, which is also up there, you can uh, email me, make a request. I do an email blast every week before this show airs to remind people about it, I can put you on that list. I can put you on a list of people that I send a Facebook Messenger message to. I can do all kinds of things and, at the same time, keep it casual. Casual is very important to me. Especially during these times where things seem less than perfectly casual day to day. Jim Harrison. This is a book called Songs of Unreason. And it's a very interesting book because you have full poems over here on the right side and a long sequence of poems called Songs of Unreason transpiring on the left-hand side all the way through the book. So I'm going to read you the entire... No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to read this one. I'm just reading poems that strike my fancy the day of the show. So I was looking at this book this morning. 
I reread these all the time, so I'm kind of like, okay, I know there's good poems throughout. I like this one. It's called American Sermon. I am uniquely privileged to be alive, or so they say. I have asked others who are unsure, especially the man with three kids who's being foreclosed next month. One daughter says she isn't leaving the farm. They can pry her out with tractor and chain. Mother needs heart surgery, but there's no insurance. A lifetime of cooking with pork fat. My friend, my friend Sam has made 500 bucks in 40 years of writing poetry. He has applied for 120 grants, but so have 50,000 others. Sam keeps strict track. The fact is, he's not very good. Back to the girl on the farm. She's been keeping records of all the wildflowers on the never-tilled land down the road, a 40-acre clearing where they've bloomed since the glaciers. She picks wild strawberries with a young female bear who eats them. She's being taken from the eastern upper peninsula down to Lansing, where Dad has a job in a bottling plant. She won't survive the move. Jim Harrison. So I've got a couple of uh, requests to play tonight. I may not get to all of them. Crazy Dave Fernald wants only six houses. Dave, I'm not sure I got the um papa in my calliope tonight to perform that tune. It depends on the um papa level. We'll see how that goes. More notes coming in. Do you want? Do you want to just, s just stick the hand in? The hand. What? Do you want the hand? If the hand could just make an appearance quickly. Ah, the hand. My able-bodied assistant, the hand. <laughs> Just saying hi. <laughs> Tiffany is here. Ken Higgins, Bill and Sharon. My is that my sis? Your sis and your daughter. My sis and my daughter. Cool. Leanna White, lots of folks. Leanna's there here too. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I I promised Bill Kaufman that I would play his request fairly early in the show, but I want to do a warm up first. This is a song that I wrote uh, some years ago. It's on an album called Lifelike. It's called Notebook. It was written in my notebook, and it's pretty much as I wrote it in my notebook. So the first quatrain has always been a little strange. But what are you going to do? That's how you get into it in the notebook. Here we go. For the waiting, it's a short candle for the night blind. Something there on the other side, a blue horse on a banker's bride. It takes you when you're looking away, it takes the place of a sunny day. A winter wind up the leg of your pants, a swirl of snow on the curbside dance. Language of the bone beneath the skin. A way of looking at the day you find you. Question mark at the end of your arm The way we all pretend to do no harm A slice of cheese on the kitchen floor Bad news at the sliding glass door Gravel slipping up a dump truck The bumpy road of your love luck A taste of somebody's good night kiss You jerk the wheel and you just miss Language of the bone beneath the skin a way of looking at the day you find you in love. Tax day at 11 p.m. Realizing it's us, not them. Something sinister you ate last week The way you've settled into being a freak It takes you when you're looking away Takes the place of a sunny day 
A winter wind up the leg of your pants A swirl of snow on the curbside dance Language of the bone beneath the skin A way of looking at the day you find you in The bone beneath the skin The day you find you in There you go. That's notebook. Tiffany, Princess Tiffany's here. Well, I wish I was seeing you. Yeah. Oh, well. Sweet Cheeks is going to have a baby. Is this the truth? Sweet Cheeks is going to have a baby? Can this be true? All right. Bill Kaufman. Bill Kaufman is in... Uh, they're in... I think they're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. No, maybe they're not. They're somewhere there where it's three hours ahead of here. So it's like 10 o'clock at night, and that's past my bedtime, Bill. I'm sorry, but where you are, I'm already asleep. Just pondering that for a moment. Okay, I'm done. Keeping it casual. Bill wanted to hear The Lone Ranger in the Moon, which I played a couple of weeks ago when I was doing my show with Heidi because... Heidi was there. So was Janice, and so was Amy, and so was a bunch of other people. But my son James was not there. We're talking about the Kerrville Folk Festival. I spent 13 days there. Got really badly bitten by chiggers. Only had one scorpion in my tent the whole time I was there, but it was, you know, it set me free. I mean, I definitely got, to, there was an adrenaline buzz associated with finding a scorpion in your tent. They say the little ones are the ones you got to watch out for. This one was, was, it was not big, but it was, I mean, it was big enough to be impressive. They kind of look prehistoric. I don't know if you... All this is beside the point. Watching the moon rise one night with Janice Carper and Amy Reed. We were all supposed to be writing songs that we were going to be presenting around the campfire in a couple of days in front of Jack Hardy, this legendary singer-songwriter who had this songwriting group in Greenwich Village every week, every Monday, and you had to have a new song every week. People like Tim Robinson know what I'm talking about. I don't have a new song every week. People like Tim Robinson, they had new songs every week. I don't know how they did it. I wouldn't have lasted more than two weeks in Jack's group because the first week I might have had a song that I was holding back and I was saying, oh yeah, that's brand new. I just wrote this. Yeah, yeah. The Lone Ranger in the Moon, this is called. When I went to sleep after we were watching the moon rise and there was this little piece of cloud across the, the moon and Amy Reed said, look, there's a blindfold on the moon and Janice and I were like, oh, there's your song. Go write it, go write it. The next morning when I was sleeping, because we used to sleep in the morning, I dreamed that my son, Jake, who was five years old at the time, was standing with us. And I said, look, Jamo, there's a blindfold on the moon. And he said, no, Daddy, that's the Lone Ranger in the moon. Pockets, little mister, just the right size. Little boy, love, I see you in the kitchen. You're running around in circles like a lost cartoon. Talking to yourself and talking to your sister about the Lone Ranger in the moon. Can I have a sucker? Can I have a sandwich? Peanut butter mustard is my favorite kind. I can cut the bread and I can put the stuff on it and I can take it all outside. Little boy I love, I see you in the front yard running round in circles like a wild baboon. 
Talking to the trees and talking to the bushes about the Lone Ranger in the moon. Little Mr. Man, Mr. Personality, little Mr. Underwear outside your pants. When you grow up, you'll be a superhero, cause only superheroes get to dance. Little boy, love, I see you in your bedroom, loving up a teddy bear until she swoons. Then you lie back and start to tell a story about the Lone Ranger in the moon. Daddy's far away now, but he'll be home soon. Daddy's down in Texas, but he's thinking of you. Little boy, love, I see you in the kitchen You're running around in circles like a lost cartoon Let me tell you this, when I was down in Texas I saw the Lone Ranger in the moon Little boy, love, I see you in my good dream Running around the circle like a favorite tune Maybe next summer we'll both go down to Texas And meet the Lone Ranger in the moon Maybe next summer we'll both go down to Texas And meet the Lone Ranger in the moon That one's for my son James, who's 25 now. Yeah. That's correct. I keep looking at Karen Harris's note saying castles in the air. Mm. I think I'm going to put that note over here where I won't be dis <laughs> distracted by it. Because, <coughs> you know, I feel like I'm, I'm digging deep. Here, people, to try and recall and re uh, refamiliarize myself with some songs that maybe I haven't played in a while, and it's challenging enough. It's challenging enough. <coughs> so the real deal is the weather's warming up, and because of my condition. The warmer weather uh, tends to aggravate some of my autoimmune difficulties, some of the symptoms I get. So I'm just I'm just doing my best here, and that will continue. I will continue to just do my best, and we'll be casual. That's for doing. We're doing casual. We're specializing in casual. So I've been wanting to relearn this song, and I tried it on Joan, and I was talking to you last week about how Joan is just uh, maybe just too much guitar from me as a geezer. And uh, so we've got uh, Temporary Beauty here, a full-fledged Martin that I purchased back in the, I think, the late 90s when I had to send Joan back to the factory to get new fretwork, get frets put on. Anyway, the song is called The Pudding Stone Songwriter's Colony, which is kind of the sequel to Lone Ranger in the Moon in that it's kind of a fantasy song about being at Kerrville, only I rename it The Pudding Stone Songwriter's Colony. Yes, to kind of, for it, 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 it initially it made me kind of feel the kind of nervousness that I had being around such accomplished writers, uh, such well-known writers, and uh, for the first time. Anyway, it's kind of a fun song, but it's, 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 it's a mother to play because it's all hammer-ons. It's, it's very strange. It's the only song I play that's like this, so take some practice. Says he wants to write a suicide. Michael says he wants to take a bride. I can't tell the road from the alfalfa field. And Janice says I need to learn the slide. 
Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony Couched amid the umbrella oaks Dozens of multicolored eagle fires Nobody laughs at your jokes Maybe they're all Nazis or neophytes Allies of the sirens or the frights Larry left last week but forgot his car Sandy says she wants to sneak out nights Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony Couched amid the umbrella oaks Dozens of multicolored ego fires And whatever desperation evokes Today was the day of the catalyst Today we lived as if it were our last Tomorrow's the parade of the epiphanies Friday we'll be bobbing for cash Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony Couched amid the umbrella oaks Dozens of multicolored ego fires You're just another card in the spokes Heidi's got a gig with the symphony Amy wants to learn to channel trees Gary's having visions of scorpions Tracy makes me weak in the knees Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony Couched amid the umbrella oaks Dozens of multicolored ego fires Notebooks, guitars, and smokes The sake of a melody, a substance as solid as the sea, all for the sake of a word well placed, all for immortality. Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony, couched amid the umbrella oaks, dozens of multicolored ego fires, and one more word that rhymes with oaks. Here at the Pudding Stone, the songwriter's colony Couched amid the umbrella oaks Dozens of multicolored ego fires You're just another card in the spokes I lived. I lived. Oh. Chris says the CMP Coffee Company fundraiser is closed? Yeah, it's deactivated. Here. Deactivated. You know, I can tell you why. All right. Give me a second and here. And then two requests. Two requests. Jeff, Steve. You know, Jeff, I've been waiting for this, but I haven't prepared. So, let me tell you. The CMP Coffee Company opened again on Monday. They're open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, and they have a window in the back of their building. So they're at 5412 uh, California Avenue Southwest in West Seattle. You go up Finley Street, right? If you go, let's say you're going uh, southbound on California. You take a left on Finley, and then you go down the alley. You go to the alley behind you can park there, or you can park on the street and walk into the alley. They have a service window in the back of the coffee shop where they will serve you your coffee drinks. They're selling whole bean coffee from uh, Lighthouse Roasters. And so they are back in business, which is maybe why they closed down their GoFundMe site. So the GoFundMe thing that's over here, I don't know. But if you donate to my PayPal tip jar... If you go to my Bandcamp site and purchase a digital download of my album, anything that goes through those either of those places between now and 7 p.m. tomorrow night, that money will go to the CNP Coffee Company. So, Chris, go to my PayPal trip tip jar or to my Bandcamp site, make a donation there, and I will make sure personally that it gets to the CNP Coffee Company because... Even though they're not doing their GoFundMe thing anymore, even though they are reopened to limited hours, they've got employees that need to be paid. They've got overhead. 
they've got their own expenses. And if you'll recall, the CNP has not been without, you know, financial struggles in the past. So, but they're doing great. So more power to Cam and Pete and the CNP moving forward. And uh, we will still. <laughs> okay. From where you are and you can't make it go away. You can't make it go away. It was one of the first Jim Page songs I ever learned to play. Although he told me the first time Jim came and saw me play at the old Murphy's Pub in Wallingford. And I, I played his song. <laughs> you can't make it go. He said, first thing he said was, you're not playing that right. And I said, I know, Jim. I know. Perhaps sometime you can show me. Jim and I have that, a wonderful relationship. And it kind of is based on that comment, you know? It has grown from there. Yeah. So I wrote a new song this last week. Um, I wrote a, a love song for my wife during these times. Where's that clipboard? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need a cheat sheet. I'm not quite, I'm not quite up to speed on this one yet. Where's my cheat sheet? Excuse me. Casual. You know. You can just talk amongst yourselves for a second. I'll be right back here. Where did I put that? Holy smazoli, Bill. Weren't you gonna... Didn't you have a... Oh, here it is. You know, I was feeling confident earlier like I had it memorized, so I put it in the recycling. Best laid plans. I can't believe Princess Tiffany's out there. That's cool. I wonder if we could get Joe Fiala. Mm. My old KOZI crew. Wait. Lest you think I had forgotten you. All right. It's hanging right back here. Right back there. Just above. You know. Just above this. You think I've forgotten? Well, thank you very much. You're in the Lakeside Lounge. Anyway, this is called Couples Hymn. Like I said about the last song I wrote, I still don't know if it's finished because I haven't been able to play it in front of people yet. So maybe you can help me with this. It's a short little song. <laughs> One of them said, staring through half-open blinds None of what sacred's been spread over the dead Echoes in an unsettled mind Isolation is a cavity Isolation with its gravity Oh, I know I've seen about as much of me as anyone can take that's how I know that you and I are no mistake No mistake We never knew that fear could feel like this e Equal parts bliss Whoops start that again. We never knew that fear could feel like this. Equal parts bliss and lists of the recently gone. And what about that vinegar and piss we don't really miss with each irreplaceable dawn? Isolation is a cavity. Isolation with its gravity. Oh, I know you've seen about as much of me as anyone can take That's how I know that you and I are no mistake No
well not perfect but it's getting there it's getting there yeah i don't know it seemed like there was a lot of covid 19 songs going around i thought i should participate oh susan mcmillan oh he's so good that means Lori Trout and Monica Holverstadt and those kind of people are probably hanging out there. Yeah, there's Lori. Val Sanford. <sighs> These are all the people I wish I was with. Actually, so I am with you. I am with, we are with. Yeah, this is the new kind of with. I don't know, it's a different, it's a different kind of with than what we're used to. One sip of coffee. <sighs> One sip of mystery beverage in the CMP Coffee Company mug. Oh, yes. <clears throat> okay, Dave. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. It's like the water dance is getting some play tonight. Yeah. amongst yourselves in whispers oh my god oh my god drop some leaves on your plate and skip all the dressing disregard those sordid reports and give them your blessing Still you've got this rock in your head You've got an uncle named Fred You'd call him for advice Except that he's an idiot He's an idiot Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that You could build a lover like that You could be a lover like that Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that You could build a lover like that be a lover like that. Imagine a lover like that. Is it time to call out the troops or call in all your habits? You feel like Bambi caught in a noose You feel like Mrs. Kravitz She's the one you'd like to avoid Cause she was so paranoid And she was such a prune All shriveled up inside herself Up inside herself Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that you could build a lover like that You could be a lover like that Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that You could build a lover like that You could be a lover like that Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that You could build a lover like that You could be a lover like that Imagine a lover like that You could have a lover like that You could build a lover like that You could be a lover like that Imagine a lover like that. We're still here. And we're still here. We're still here, people. The program that I'm using, I got an update during the week that said, yeah, it makes it stay a little more stable on the Facebook platform. Also, I switched to an Ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi for tonight. Now that I've mentioned all of that, probably be seeing you. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, boy. That's good, Joe. All right. 
What's next, Bill, here on this mellow evening? Gee, I'm not used to having it be continuous like this. You know? I'm used to having been knocked off the air by now, at least once. This is cool. This is how I'm going to get comfortable and remain casual, is if I don't have to worry about the technical aspects so much. In this book, Songs of Unreason, by my good hero, Jim Harrison, now deceased. There's a sequence of, I think, seven poems called River. River 1, River 2, River 3, River 4, and so on. All the way up to seven. I could read all seven. But maybe I'll just read one. Maybe I'll read another one next week or something. Whew, now, this one I have not pre-read very recently, but I just remember loving these. River 1. I was there in a room in a village by the river when the moon fell into the window frame and was trapped there too long. I was fearful, but I was upside down and my prayers fell off the ceiling. Our small dog, Jacques, jumped on the sofa near the window, perched on the sofa's back and released the moon to head south. Just after dawn, standing in the green yard, I watched a girl ride down the far side of the railroad tracks on a beauteous white horse whose lower legs were wrapped in red tape. Above her head were mountains covered with snow. I decided we were born to be moving water, not ice. Jim Harrison. You need to get one of his books and just read it and be in it. Be in it for a while because it's just good. Liana, you still out there? It's interesting. I had some requests for songs that I played a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Dave, I did my best on, on Only Six Houses there. I think it was adequate. Not perfect, but... Here's one I did a couple of weeks ago, but it's worth repeating. Ralph is in the sanctuary polishing brass. Jesus at the window, he's capturing glass. I'm lacing up my sneakers, packing up my things. Gotta hit the road before the doorbell rings. God loves civil disobedience. God lends a helping hand. He's there at my ear when the time comes to take a stand. He says, Oi, but the crazy land. Well, I tried to write my senator, tried to write the press, but no one seems to listen until you make a mess. I contemplated terrorism through that way. I don't want to hurt nobody now, I just want my say. God loves civil disobedience. God had some trouble too. He's there at my ear when I can't think of nothing to do. He says, boy, I got a job for you. It's a burning bush, it's a burning tree. Ralph was standing there and he's looking at me. He says, I'll write it down if you'll take it to town. We got a mission, we got permission. Yeah, well, I never burned a building, I don't sink ships. I got a can of spray paint and a good set of lips. I shout from the rooftops, paint on them too. So when the bombers fly over, they know who to screw. God loves civil disobedience, God lends a helping hand. He's there with my ear when the time. Take a stand. He says, Oi, but the crazy land you got here, you call it America? God loves civil disobedience. God had some trouble too. He's there with my ear when I can't think of nothing to do. He says, Boy, I got a job for you. Yes, you. Yes, you. And you. And you. God loves civil disobedience. God loves civil disobedience. God loves civil disobedience, say oh God loves civil disobedience, say oh God, oh God, say oh
Okay, Bill. Time to do something mellow now, Bill. You remember mellow, Bill, don't you? This is a song called Safe in the Sound from an album called Raise Your Heart. Oh, Val's here. Oh, yeah, she wanted to hear Raise Your Heart again, didn't she? Don't know if I have the emotional bandwidth. Let's see how I feel after this one, though. I sing this song for Diane, even though Diane and I weren't together when I wrote this song, but there's the second verse is very evocative of a kind of a diane -y kind of vibe. This song was actually written talking about my friend Jim Page when he and I were traveling together, one of a few times that we did that. Um, and I wrote the first verse in the passenger seat of his van when we were driving south. I think we were driving between uh, Corvallis and, and uh, Ashland, I think, but I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. The last verse I wrote at my sister's dining room table. And I remember because my dad, who had been, who had passed away a couple of years prior, visited me at her dining room table. Yeah, her kids were at school and she was at work and I was there by myself and... So this song kind of is uh, meaningful to me because it talks about being comfortable in one's own skin, being comfortable with who one is in the world, which has been not the easiest thing for me, you know, uh, even as recently as this last week. But it's good to have a project <clears throat> going forward in life, and this one is one battling what we call the DMF, which is the Davy Mind thing, you know. My sister knows what I'm talking about. So this song is kind of a, an argument the other side. It's called Safe in the Sound. If I can play it. Safe in the sound, I'm writing this down While Jim takes a turn at the wheel Scanning the trees that fly by me For whatever they choose to reveal And I have no explanation As the car wheels into the town It's a newfound field of sensation to arrive here safe in the sound Safe in the sound I look to the crown At the top of a stairway of hills Under those stars I'll tune my guitars As the voices inside grow still And soon I'll be sharing my moments As friends rise out of the ground Passing out mirrors and tokens In this place where I'm safe in the sound Safe in the sound, I feel you smile down from your house out in back of the blue. And maybe I'm through now crying for you as if only your body were true. The tears still rise to the surface when your voice echoes back around. But it comes with a tune and a purpose. Now that I'm safe in the sound 
safe in the sound I'm writing this down Like a page from a mystery play Scanning the trees that fly by me As the sun closes down on the day And I have no explanation As the sun made the car wheels back into town It's a newfound field of sensation To come home safe in the sound safe in the sound. Just the best way I could possibly do it. And what are you going to do? Put on new strings today, by the way. Yeah. Been investing in a lot of strings. Been going through a lot of strings. Interesting. That's because I've been playing my guitar a lot in a very casual kind of way. I'm trying to maintain the casuality, the casualosity. Mm. <laughs> J.W. McClure. Cornstarch. Cornstarch for the sweaty hands. Now it's like, whoa! Whoa! Can't keep my guitar on the neck. Val Sanford, you better still be out there. This is a song I wrote for Diane many years ago. This was uh, shortly after her mother had fallen uh, and broken her leg and uh, was in the process of being moved into a assisted living facility down in Portland, Diane and I and my mom and were going through Yvonne's house, getting ready for an estate sale, getting ready to sell the house so that Yvonne would know how much capital she had. It was a very uh, fraught time, not just for that reason, but we lost a couple of our music community at that time, uh, Arwen and Teresa Morgan. And uh, though they were not close with me, they, they, their loss resonated throughout this music community here locally that, uh, in a profound way. So that was very much in the air. And then a friend of Diane's, a graduate student at the University of Washington, uh, lost her life in a fiery crash on Lake City Way. So there was just all this kind of terminal feeling around. Now Diane has got powers that I have not witnessed in anybody else that I have known in my life. She, uh, her ancestors, her relatives, her grandparents, her, her father, they're all close to her, even though they are no longer on this uh, earth. And when she needs them, she calls to them for help and guidance and they come. So the third verse of this song is kind of about that. The second verse is kind of about Arwen and Teresa, and the first is for Yvonne. I'm playing it for Val. picture to the final breath the way she turned when the lamp was lit to how you stood by and weathered it we fall together when we fall apart is there a reason to raise your heart raise your heart Raise 
ease your heart from the aching day to autumn's colors as they blow away from blowing pages spinning clocks the fall of water onto fallen rocks they fall together when they fall apart to each a season so raise your heart raise your Raise your heart from a cage of bone To a breakfast table where you're not alone From passion's moment, a wealth of blood A tear of feeling and then a flood It falls together when it falls apart Each new beginning, so raise your heart It falls together when it falls apart This new beginning So raise your heart Raise your heart Raise your heart There you go. There you go, Val. I feel like I'm not <clears throat> perp I'm not uh, I'm not spot on tonight, but I'm somewhere in the neighborhood. Somewhere in the neighborhood. It's good enough, right? I hope so. I do. I hope so. Really I do. Really. Let's try this one. This is called Johnny Seeks Treatment. This is from an album called Gravity, which is a really fun album. It was a great album to make. It was a great album. I got to work with Hal Brooks. I got to work with David Lang. I got to work with Larry Klein. I got to work with Dan Mulder. I got to work with David Heath. Oh, these guys were good. And I will always remember the piano solo that David Lang played on this track. Security. I think you mean that you can't decide I think you mean that you might be stopping here I think you wonder how much of it lies And while you're standing by, I know Between your tongue and your eyes, a oh, hole You don't want to go And cut the company I think you mean you can't cut the cane I think you mean you can't make the rendezvous I think you mean you're erasing my name And while you're standing by I know Between your tongue and your eyes a hole You don't want to go You don't want to go Take your money to fly out of this padded daylight. I got enough here to last till Christmas. It's for the two of us, for the two of us. Your options were unlimited I thought you meant your mirror wouldn't shatter Who would have thought you'd turn up spouting rhetoric Who 
would have thought that it mattered And while I'm standing by, you know In the back of my mind, oh I don't want to go I don't want to go this afternoon. That's good. It's good. It's good that these things are happening. Yeah. It's good. It's good that I'm it's good that I'm relearning some of these older songs. It's not like I mean Johnny Seeks Treatment is pretty much always on the set list. But some of these other ones like uh like uh Putting Stone Songwriters Colony, you know. And uh, even Only Six Houses is on the set list, but I don't always play it because I don't always have the energy. I usually need that that energy coming back, you know? And maybe, you know, one of Pete's white chocolate mochas from the CMP Coffee Company. Because Pete or Ian, Ian also makes an excellent white chocolate mocha. But I gotta tell you, let me remind you once more that the CMP Coffee Company in West Seattle is open for business, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They're serving espresso drinks, your favorite espresso drinks, out the back window of the building. So you come down, it's between Finley and Juno Streets on California Avenue Southwest, right? So if you're going south on California, you turn left onto Finley, and then you turn right into the alley. If you're coming north on California, you take a right onto Juno and a left into the alley. Or you can park on the street and walk around because there's only about four or five parking spots in the alley behind CNP. Then you just stroll up to the window, place your order, socially distance, do the responsible thing, get your coffee and be on your way. Buy a bag of Lighthouse Roasters uh, whole bean coffee there too, to take with you. These people just know how to do it and they know how to treat their customers right. They are regular, uh, donators to the West Seattle Food Bank and they just believe in community and the community has rallied around uh, Cam and Pete more than once so we're doing it again and it's probably one of my two favorite places to play music in this area so it's fun okay so now I'm, I'm I'm like I've gotten through most of the stuff that I was planning to play tonight I've been able to play more songs because there have been fewer glitches. Isn't that interesting, Bill? Hmm. Now what are you going to do? Well, maybe play something that uh, I hadn't anticipated. Let me see. I've got a couple of records here. Maybe I should play something off one of these. I could play something off this one. I could play something off of this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. I've already played a couple of that one. Or this one. Mm. Or even this one. Ah. Going back, all the way back to 1986, ladies and gentlemen. Actually to 1983, I believe, is when I wrote this song. Per proof that history doth repeat itself. The Concerns from 1983. Funny how these things cycle back around. You young people out there, you watch. You watch for these things. They do come back. People come back too, which is cool, like Princess Tiffany coming back. Great to see you, you and all your people, your whole family. I wish you the best. I miss you and love you. Damn right, baby, I'm tight. I plan to stay that way for the rest of the night. There ain't enough on the news to tell who's wrong and who's right. I did a little drinking so I could stop thinking. And now I drink, you think too much. All of this is just a mirage. The military complex, the mortar barrage. 
step into my new mental montage Well, I did a little drinking so I could stop thinking And now I drink, you think too much Well, I was thinking about the Russians again It's a confrontation, nobody wins And the next thing I knew I was diluting my vodka with gin don't try to argue with me I turned off my head when I turned on the TV I'm gonna sprout some roots and make like a tree Well, I did a little drinking so I could stop thinking And now I drink, you think too much Well, I was thinking about the CIA It's a symptom of moral decay When you're lying in bed you still gotta watch what you say Now baby I think you understand How a thinking man's head can get all out of hand Well I got no solutions but I did have a plan Well I did a little drinking so I could stop thinking And now I drink you think too much Well I did a little drinking so I could stop thinking And now I drink you think too much There you are, another hour of your life that you will not get back again. But you can relive it <laughs> here on Facebook. Also, I should tell you, if you have friends that don't do the Facebook thing, that don't do the social media thing, I'm also posting the videos from these solo concerts to my YouTube channel. Now, last week, because of all the glitches, I only got the last four songs. But the last four songs are on my YouTube channel. The week before, I got the whole thing, even with the glitches. For some reason, the recording feature on this program worked then. So I got all those songs up. So this will be posted probably sometime tomorrow. I go through, I edit out any parts that I particularly don't like. I do all the pitch correction and things like that and, and replace the uh, bad guitar fingering with corrected guitar fingering. All those kind of fancy things that you can do with this high technology that we all live amongst now. No, I don't do any of that. I may edit something out if it seems useless, like, you know, uh, maybe this speech right here. Anyway, thanks everybody for coming. Let me take a last look here. Sam, Sam's here. Thanks, Val, for being here. It was fun to sing for you. Jeff, Steve, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sure that from where you are, that may have fallen off for good. I just can't say. Princess Tiffany, good to see your face. Celeste. Hi, Celeste. Celeste provided this beautiful neon piece back here a few, few weeks ago. Tim Swagger, my best friend since we were nine years old. Kathy Brewer. Thank you to the entire Bill Woolham contingent because his fan club, for some reason... He roped him into, you know, he got them addicted to my stuff early on. It was, it's kind of, uh, well, opinions vary on that. Anyway, folks, next week, same bad time, same bad channel. We will try this again. Seemed like it went better tonight with the uh, Ethernet cable. Yeah. Okay. Well, famous last words. We got no problems, so everything's just going to be, uh, just going to be peachy from here on. Thank you also to my darling Diane for monitoring the Facebook feed and for letting me know if anything strange happens and bringing me fun requests like castles in the air <laughs> from Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, you guys. Stay well. See you next week.